41 Action News reporter Alyssa Donovan joins us now. And, you know, I was thinking about just the mental aspect of all of this. You know, we're impacted by it as adults, but I can't imagine the children and the students still having to go about their, their day. You talked to a child psychologist today or psychiatrist to talk about the impact that these crimes are having on just our mental state. What did he tell you? That's right. And the doctor tells me it depends on a lot of factors, including age, personality, just how close the child or teen was to the actual incident. Mm -hmm. And he does say that those who have been through something like this are more likely to develop mental health issues in the future. When school shootings happen, Dr. Prakash Chandra says his patients often express concern about it happening to them. The psychiatrist works with children and teens ages 3 to 18. These are difficult questions to answer why somebody would do this kind of heinous crime. While he can't answer those questions, he does encourage parents to talk with their kids about these incidents because even from a distance, there can be an impact. It depends on what kind of level of exposure they had. So if they had seen it by themselves, it's happening in front of them, the, the level of trauma could be much more severe compared to, okay, I, I was there, but I haven't seen that incident. The doctor says people who have gone through a trauma like this are more likely likely to develop mental health issues in the future. After a few days, you start kind of processing this information and then uh, and then uh, in the long term, either you may develop anxiety symptoms, uh, sometimes depression as well, or trauma related other behavioral problems. That's why he tells parents to keep an eye on their children following a school shooting. Parents, they know their children the best. So if there are any changes in their behaviors, that would indicate that something else might be going on and we have to intervene there. And those behavioral changes are things like irritability, change in appetite, or antisocial behavior. The doctor says it could happen in a few days or even a few months after the incident. And he did tell me if you do notice a change in your child, that's the time you should contact a professional. And take it seriously, right? Yeah, Just that's jump right. on it, explore it, and vet it out, and see if that is in fact the case. Alyssa, thanks so much.